WFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of, well, a very, very pleasant Delray Beach, Florida. This is your Lemon Name Update, and we begin our day with a very mixed bag out here. You get the Dow trading down 221 points, a half a percent there. Quarter percent to the upside for the S&P or 17 points. Four tenths to the upside for the NASDAQ 100, an 82 point move there. Russell's down 15, six tenths. Trannies are up 85, semis are down 43. Gold is up 11 bucks, silver's up 28 cents. Light sweet crude up 69 pennies. Uh, natural gas is off two cents, 30 year treasury. And the 10 year note are both trading down just a bit. DAX is up 102. If we take a look at the DAX, see where it's at with regard to, it closes here in about 30 minutes. Come on. What's the deal here? Uh, the DAX is trading, well, just really in the mid, middle of its range for the day out there. Um, and we've got the index trading to the upside. Okay, so um, let's try to figure out what all that means by looking at that nine panel market update chart. We'll begin with uh, the ES Mini. ES Mini yesterday attacked its uh, sell the D point top. That was at 6035.25. That's a resistance level. Uh, it's going to go tackle that or should go tackle that again today. It does have additional resistance above that, and that's at the 60.53.25 level. Spot fix index is still below its 50-day exponential moving average. It's below yesterday's low. The rally in the ES, unless we take a look at the intraday charts and see some topping signals likely to rally further. The NQ uh, yesterday, nice rally found resistance where it should have it was only a counter trend move and that's at 2107520 watch that level today if price closes above that then we head all the way to its a to b equals cd top its all time high if you take a look at the us dollar index trading uh, back inside its daily profile that means below 10699 we closed below that yesterday we closed below today it would suggest that we go tackle its buy zone the buy zone is between 10552 10582 and 10611 Goldilocks, big pullback yesterday. Uh, it does have a buy zone as well if it were to pull back further. And that's between the uh, 2559.20, 2594.50 level. That would be my preference is for gold to pull back into that buy zone to then trigger the next buy. If we take a look at uh, silver out here, silver is gets consolidated with inside its daily profile. Found support yesterday, well, actually yesterday it, uh, it negated its TD9 count bottom. We're gonna get rid of that out there. So just a consolidation for silver with inside its daily profile. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Ed Show. If you're off to start your Tuesday, have a terrific one and we'll look forward to speaking with you again soon. Take care now.